Welcome to the Body Shop Physical Therapy. I'm Dr. Katherine Price and I'm a physical therapist. Today I want to share with you some of the fascinating findings with green tea extract and some of the compounds in green tea that can help alleviate some of the symptoms with osteoarthritis. Joints need appropriate nutrition in order to improve and maintain joint health. So what is it in green tea that keeps joints healthy? It's the catechins. What are catechins? They are polyphenolic uh, phytochemicals. And what so that is what the compound looks like. There are four different ones found in green tea, so and there is the EGCG that is most studied, and that has an impact on um, the cartilage and the chondrocytes. So chondrocytes are the cells that produce the collagen that create the cartilage. So the chondrocytes are the cells that are going to be doing the work to help create the collagen. And let's look at how the EGCG impacts the chondrocytes and the collagen production. So it does it by two different pathways. So not just one, but two. One of the main medications used to treat arthritis is going to be a COX-2 inhibitor. Well, EGCG is going to act as a COX-2 inhibitor. So it is going to decrease inflammation by acting on that pathway and decreasing the gene expression of the COX-2 gene. So that gives the uh, medicinal impact uh, to that pathway. Now, the other thing that EGCG does is it's going to increase the collagen production. And how does it do that? Um, so it enhances the collagen production by upregulating the collagen synthesis. So it's going to upregulate the genes that make collagen and it's also going to downregulate or inhibit the gene that promotes inflammation, so acting like an NSAID. Um, if you take a chondrocyte out of its environment, the collagen synthesis will decrease drastically in 48 hours. So this is where the green tea or the EGCG component can impact the collagen and the cartilage. And so this comes into play if you want to have your chondrocytes taken out, grown, and then placed back into the joint. Well, if you use the EGCG or have that available, it can help stimulate the synthesis of the collagen because it upregulates that synthesis acting on that chondrocyte. And this may be one explanation for why sometimes these implantation of chondrocytes do not work is that if you take a chondrocyte, a cell that produces the cartilage, if you take it out of the body, immediately when you remove it from its natural environment, in 48 hours, the synthesis of collagen is drastically reduced. So you want to find something that is going to help promote that synthesis and the EGCG in green tea has shown to do that. So that can be one way to encourage or improve the efficacy possibly of having that procedure done and knowing that. So the green tea, it works two different ways. One, it decreases inflammation. So it's an inhibitory uh, pathway. It will inhibit that COX-2 gene so that you are decreasing that inflammation that comes along with arthritis. And then you're also upregulating the genes to synthesize and produce collagen. So it's going, it's assisting the joint in two different ways. The EGCG can bind to iron and so it can promote iron deficiency. You want to be aware of that. Also in green tea, there's caffeine and caffeine can have cardiovascular effects. It can affect sleep. Um, irritability and possible depression, anxiety, and um, irritate to the bladder. So caffeine is something to consider if you're sensitive to caffeine. And also it does have um, vitamin K and that can interfere with um, anticoagulant drugs. And the green tea can also interfere with certain medications. So it is important that you discuss this with your doctor to see if that is something appropriate for you to be consuming. 
With that being said, there you can get decaffeinated green tea extract if you are sensitive to caffeine. And I will say that I started to drink green tea to have a lower caffeine intake. And uh, I find that it's not the most flavorful, but I've gotten used to drinking green tea and I don't mind it. But I did find this particular green tea that tastes like a blueberry pie. And it's got other herbs, so you wanna make sure that you can also consume those and it not to be um, a disruption or an irritant to you. But this is gonna be um, the Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life. And I find that if you don't like green tea, this takes, tastes like blueberry pie, and I find it's delicious and it is an easy way for me to intake the green tea. So that is just a little bit about green tea and its impact on joint health and cartilage and how it can enhance both the anti-inflammatory pathway as well as promote the synthesis of collagen, which is the cartilage of the joint. And just knowing those findings, it sounds like something to consider and talk to your doctor and see if it's something that may benefit you. I hope this is of help. Have a blessed day. Thank you.